Okay, guys. Let me show you where I'm at before I keep going. This is a uh, Humvee Tools pressure washer. Although I say the name of the machine, guys, these electric pressure washers are built on the same principles or the same design. So with that being said, the few possible fixes that I show in this video will apply to just about any electric pressure washer, if not any of them. So just wanted to note that before we go on further with the video. 1900 PSI. I bought it new. I left it outside one day in the rain. I used it a few times. And it stopped working. I don't know what happened, but it stopped working. It won't turn on. And I just pop the switch out. It's easy to do. It's got a real thin flathead screwdriver. You can see I made the marks here. Went on each side and pried it up. You can see the marks on both sides. Just go on each side and pry it out, pop it out. And with this, here's the on off switch. The terminals had a tiny bit of rust on them. Just a little bit. So, but I wanna show something that was happening with this. What I noticed when I removed the switch, the toggle switch. Oh, let me show you guys how I removed the toggle switch. This is a rubber boot that goes around here to keep the water from getting in, supposedly. So let me remove this. But as you can see, there's two also got to see that notch there. And there's one on this side as well. Right there. Well, they go inside of these holes. It goes inside of that hole and that hole. So, you just pry it out as well. Zoom back out. Just pry it out the same way. Just pry the switch out. Stick the flat blade screwdriver in here and pop it out on each side. Really, really easy. And I also use some parts cleaner to clean inside of that switch and to clean these terminals off on this toggle switch. But let me show you guys what I noticed when I popped the switch out. I don't know if it happened when I popped the switch out, but this was off so this was get kind of how like it was okay so that's how it was let me zoom in here so it was like that when i removed it i'm not sure if it if it popped off i'm not sure if it popped off when i remove the switch but it was sitting in there like so like it wasn't making contact the terminals was looking good like there was even though i sprayed some parts cleaner in there it still was pretty clean in there so as you can look down in there really closely there's them slots it seats in those slots like that one so that's how it just was so let me do that All right now like that has to sit in that slot so it wasn't in that slot before so when the toggle switch moves it it goes back and forth like so you go up or down so we're gonna pop the toggle switch back in and see if this thing works let me set the camera up before we install the rocker switch to this main switch i'm gonna show you guys how i removed the main switch out of the machine just pry on both sides and it comes out you guys can see how i did it i just want to show that so you can show you how easy it is to pop the switch out of the machine Let's test it before we put it back together. So it wasn't saying anything before. Okay, here we go. I 
Okay, guys, you see water damage here. And it's GFCI. Possibly didn't fry the circuit. So we may have to replace this, but we're gonna see if the machine uh, held up or well, got damaged as well. Kind of extended the plug out. Uh, the white goes into the neutral, black goes into the hot. The neutral is the larger side. That's the neutral, the larger side. The larger hole is the neutral. So let's turn it off first. You know, we just wanna see if the machine powers up before we go to replacing parts. I don't know if you guys can see there's a light on this plug to let you know we got power. Let's see what we got. Well, we found out what our problem is, so let's remove these. So we got a bad GFCI, this is a ground fault circuit interrupter. So we're gonna replace this. Uh, let me order the part now, it should be here tomorrow. And we're gonna replace this out and fix this machine that's been sitting up uh, for some months now. I thought it was bad. Left it outside for a little bit and um, had this. So we're gonna pop this back in there as well. Let's do that right now. Okay, we're back in. So let's order a replacement part for this. It won't be the exact thing, but it's gonna work. Okay, guys, the GFCI came, just a aftermarket part, cheap aftermarket part. Still should be able to do the job. Let's mount the camera, a plug. It comes with its own rubber boot. So we need to access this part of the plug. We don't need the ground. Uh, our machine didn't require a ground. Just had the neutral and the hot. The boot that's on here may work, guys. Look at that. That may work. Yeah, we're gonna use the one that's on here and try it first. Can use a flathead or fill it. Are they already up? Wrong screws. 
wrong screw. This is the right screw. Although I'm using the old boot here, guys, for the plug that, that was off the old plug, I recommend using the, the new rubber boot that came with the new plug uh, because it fits better. This doesn't fit perfectly on there. You guys can see I'm having a hard time um, pressing the back cover in place on that GFCI. Use the old, I mean, use the new boot, guys, because I'm going to replace it in a few. You guys see that. I'll take this old one off and I'll replace it so the plug can... Uh, be perfect. You don't want to get any water in that plug again, but definitely recommend using the boot that came with the new GFCI. Okay, now let's test it. Okay, we plugged in, we got power. So let's see what we got. We're working. So let's uh let's test it now. I haven't used this thing in a year, over a year since I've used it. I got a review for this on my channel as well, so you guys can check that out. And uh yeah, we're all good now. I guess another way to show that it's working good, guys. It energizes this GFCI when this is plugged in. You'll see it pop on. It's energized now. Remove it. When you remove the plug, you don't see the red marker inside the lens anymore. It's not a light, but you can test it as well. Let's test it also. Energize now. Not bad. Okay guys, after a few days of using this uh, machine, uh, the rubber came out. I recommend using the rubber boot that came with this item, so you have to worry about this. So I'm just gonna flip this off, uh, remove everything, and install the rubber boot that came with it uh, so it can seal properly. You gotta worry about uh, they slipping back out again. So, uh, just wanted to note that. I wanna make sure I add everything uh, as reviewing this product. I wanna make sure I I make note of everything. It's important for me to do that.